living in my head. I ain't been fucking with the world. Uh, let's just take a moment. You know, we like to let that mood set in when we first settle in. Mm-hmm. Let's in the mood. Tapped in with the game. But you got a smoothie over there? Yeah. Yeah, it was funny. Mm-hmm. Not a smoothie. Good herbs. <laughs> ah. Living in my head. I ain't been fucking with the world. I built them up and then I fled. I'm too in love with multiple girls. Sorry, no, you know, sorry. You know, it's like church when you enter here, you know. We ain't no, gonna man. just we ain't no just gonna vibe, open the bro. doors. We ain't gonna just open the doors. Ain't, and ain't nobody you... gonna stare at you. Ain't yeah. nobody everybody turning back when you walk in and shit, you know. We definitely gonna set the mood each and every time. Welcome but, home, y'all. Welcome home. Yeah. Welcome home. You tapped in with the guys. Taj Mahal. Timothy Hey You know, and you tapped in with SDS podcast, you know. We come in here bringing awareness. I ain't gonna even say we bring in light. We just bring it. We shed. We bring in awareness. We shedding every. We shedding the mundane shit and getting to the inner. That's where the magic at, y'all. Let's do mm-hmm. it. Don't try to mystify this mundane shit. Let the mundane be mundane. You know. It's levels to the spirituality shit, y'all. Y'all know what y'all are here for. This is deeper than just trying to figure out your feelings. This is how we transmute now. Mm-hmm. It's time to grow. It's the meaning in life, not the meaning of. Mm-hmm. But this is definitely a, a topic that we've been wanting to tap into for a minute. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Tim brought it up to me. You brought this up a minute ago. Like, what was it, like a month or two, month and a half ago? A probably like a solid too, month. Uh, yeah, I want to say too low key. Yeah, it probably was March. It was def- Oh, it was March, huh? It was definitely my birthday. Yeah, you said something earlier. Yeah. But... The topic and the focus today is, I know everybody, we, we've been seeing something going on lately. They've been, even like governments are taking notice of this stuff. Like this stuff is, it may be getting swept up under the rug with other people, but it's like, I don't know. But the movement of mass loneliness or another name, the self Self love, the self um, improvement movement, the self journey, mm-hmm. but then equating it to loneliness because mm-hmm. that's where it always leads to with a lot of people, right? On their self journey, it always leads them to them just to be them lonely. being lonely, but then it's not even operating in that space, operating in that space healthily. Healthily, here comes, here comes the like the confusion is though with it is. It's the it be the purpose and what the hell you supposed to be doing here? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it always leads folks to this wall, the mass loneliness, and them being confused whether or not. Cause I ain't gonna knock the fact of being okay in solitude. That's right. not the argument. You see what right. I'm saying? It's the argument is not being not being able to get shit done. Mm. Not being able to build. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because I hear though. that a lot. I heard this a lot. You know, you heard this generational wealth. Like, <laughs> see, look, we be contradict- see, yeah, we contradicting we ourselves when we, we do. do when we say stuff like that because we say, we say, we say, I'm gonna cut off everybody. You know, cut off the motherfucker. Blah blah blah. You, you cut off all these people that you claim that you don't need. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. To to get what you want out of life. Okay, cool. But you think you're gonna get that by yourself? It's not gonna come with motherfuckers involved. <laughs> That's a lot of people are doing go wrong. <laughs> this mass lonely. I tell you, the mass loneliness shit is coming from a selfish perspective. It is. It's triggered by the you trying to shit on, being shitting on people, yeah. shitting on people too. That too. I, I, I'll say I was. I'll say in, in the beginning stages when I went to college, I was getting a little bit involved in that. That after high school stage, mm. I think people get caught up in that trying to shit on each other. You know, we're trying to prove, oh, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We at the stage where we're just trying to prove ourselves to each other in, in the I, world. I don't think people escape that, that right. thrill or that chase of shitting on people. I don't think that ever stops. Even I see adults. Oh, they still doing it. It don't, shit. yeah, it don't stop. 
after high school. I don't even think that shit ever stops. Just some people are the they comparison. Some, no, shit. some people definitely people start it from kids until they adults, and that's how they end up lonely as well. <laughs> definitely. I'm thinking. I, I'm thinking like you would think in life that as you get older, you would get more more in tune with yourself and be more okay. But you see more people just get more rattled. That part. Facts. Like, I don't understand that. It's like you you've been here 50 plus years and you still not getting I don't understand how people don't get the lessons. I'm not gonna lie. And I Bro, guess they it's still the need part. something to they still they still need like completion. If they still need to like feel that sense of wholeness. I mm -hmm. tell people just take a lot of these adults, the generations of before us, for example. A lot of these people, they'll tell you, be independent, work hard, do you know what I'm saying? Go and then look at their situation. Up. And then look at their situation. Right. They 50 years old, like you said, still craving a husband, still mourning for a wife, and you know what I'm just saying, kids or whatever. Just to share all stuck that shit. Stuck on passion. Like, Motherfuckers still be stuck on high school shit, dog. So it's like, where do you win at? Where do you win? I think it's the um it's the being okay. I think we said this in a few videos ago. It's the being okay with letting the world shape you. I feel like that's where the mass loneliness, a lot of people want to define themselves or create themselves, which is not bad. But the world just on what a scale reflection do you, of what you live in. At the same time. But people don't even have that generalization, no guys. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Because that's just a generalization for niggas like us. This shit is reflecting me. People don't think like that. <laughs> okay. That ain't just like the everyday, you see what I'm saying? Okay, that's why I understand that. That's why we be that's why would you rap? Though. That's what I'm saying. Be okay by the world. That can be, is that, I mean, like anything outside of you, rather that's your friends, your family, your. I think kind of just be... help people. Like it's the symbolism thing. Like it's a, it goes into that. People in your life for a reason, for sure. You got to be able to learn from them. Because what you do defines you. Your purpose go define you, regardless. Right. You see okay. what I'm saying? And you need people on your purpose. That's what I mean by and I said shit that, shape I you. Straight you said, I straight said that to somebody. I said, it's cool. Like, we can agree to disagree all day and sit here and be like, okay. I mean, we don't have to hate each other just because mm -hmm. we got different perspectives. But at the same time, I still need people that I agree with that's going, that's, you know, that's with me. That's, on, that's exactly. And a that's lot of people, needed. I don't want to, like, say that in a way that it sounds like validation. Don't mm -hmm. take this as validation, y'all. Because that's not it at all. It's kind of, mm -hmm. it's just like. Like I said, it's just letting the world shape you. I feel like what we're talking about, this ma the mass loneliness that we're seeing is coming from a selfish perspective. It's the shit on people. That's what. That's why I would like, I understand we getting, I don't want to get too off this topic. The mass loneliness that you see on like social media and all this shit is selfishness. It's, it's yeah. selfishness. It's a trigger. It's a trigger response to what they feel. You know, it's a projection, of course. It's so dealing with dysfunction. Oh yeah. <laughs> so the oh the question no the question I really have on this topic for you, and this is the question that's probably gonna take up the rest of the video, but is self help is is the self help love movement helping? Is it actually relevant and effective? Is it a I mean I understand that it's an actual ritual of self love, but are people actually doing it the right way because i feel like people when people think of self-love they do a bunch of materialistic shit just for them like you said it's always just a selfish intent behind it mm -hmm. the okay is it helping is it is yes it, and no come on cuz i need you to be on the side i ain't gonna lie you need me I'm to be on the side. I'm okay, then no. need you to be on the side then no i feel like okay. it's more so it's more so declining than helping Okay. It's more so declining folks of what is the mundane. This shit is mundane. Okay. If we need others. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's uh it's not because the whole thing of self love, oh, this is that's a good question. It's an inner working. It's a that's a, you knew what exactly I said. It's an it's, inner. You see what I'm saying? It's not just okay. So like, it's more than just going to get a fucking manicure in manicure, the fucking mundane. Right, you see what I'm saying? saying? It ain't none of that shit. It ain't none of that. 
you're not telling yourself the truth. You just continuing. You you continuing your. I ain't gonna even say it's like that. that. It's deeper than that, though. It's all it's nah, inner, y'all. It's, the, it's deeper than that because the material we no, it's know way feel, deeper. We say this: the materialistic shit don't last. You can go and get your nails done, but guess what? Your nails come off. They break off. So you just going to get them again. Them. You're gonna have to cut them and go get them again. So it doesn't fucking last. So like I said, it, th- this shit not really helping. If you using nah. self love to use. To fuck it. I mean, I understand the ritual of the body, but this is all y'all put into is the fucking body. There's no, uh, there's no spirit behind you getting your nails done. You just get your nails done so you can be pretty and get attention. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if it was meaning behind it, okay, I get it. It's a ritual it, there. I get it. But there's no, and it's still meant for you to be able to correlate in the mundane. In the mundane, we could. That's how you 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 bring the love in. Like we, like we you bring just the said, love in. The, the like world the is a reflection of, of your inner. The whole point, people, the whole point is the in and out. So when you bring that love inner, you still release. You see what I'm saying? It's still about giving, at the, you know, giving towards something here. You have to give something, y'all. You right. know what I'm saying? <laughs> it ain't about just you. You go lead yourself in a fucking wall. You go be in a damn, literally a wall. Creating a box for yourself. You creating a box for yourself. For you not to even flourish. And then I'm just because I hate to say you want to be that, but you still want to be it. People will be lying if they say they don't want to be in spaces to where they can express themselves. No matter the fucking space. If that's on a beach, that's in a fucking art music, wherever the fuck you at. You everybody wants to be in a space to where they can just be them and flow. Mm. Other than they goddamn room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's just like you gotta you gotta create you gotta be okay. You gotta be out here, y'all. You gotta be out here. I realize here. I realize when the so called cause I'll say I took the self love dirty, but I wanna look deeper with it. I feel like I'm going deeper with it. Oh. But when I started it off I'm getting selfless. It, See, that's how I know I didn't got deep with it. <laughs> the more I started getting into the self love, I started just wanted to give to people more. I wanted exactly. to be a little like that's like I wanted to be a little bit. Motherfuckers wanted to be more giving and selfless. Love is all around. The self love is just bringing it home, yeah. It's still outside of your ass. Yeah, being com- be comfortable within yourself. <laughs> that's all. This. That's all, <laughs> dude. So you don't want to come outside and because you scared of trauma. It's the trauma shit that's killing me. Let's that shit go. That shit is meant. You supposed to have fucking trauma. It's killing me. They scared killing to be me challenged. They yeah, scared to be challenged because not everybody loves themselves. It's not everybody me. radiates out of that. It's and not everybody me. gonna agree with your ass. It's killing me, cuz motherfuckers literally trying to wipe out their goddamn memories of this damn trauma. They trying to, it's like they trying to wipe out the fucking computer and they can't. Like, bro, Mm-mm. it happened. It happened. It happened. A lot of times, it was that, supposed a lot of times to that should be the fuel. It should like how would you even know what happiness and love is and any of this shit that's equated with love and light if you ain't even touch on the darkness, the trauma, the hurt, the pain. You have to be able to come aware of it. The motherfuckers scared to be wrong. They want to be right all the time. It's okay to be wrong. It's okay to be wrong. What we right, should try. What value does right have without wrong? You wouldn't even know if you was right. That's pretty good. You don't even know if you be right until you challenge them. You, until you actually, okay, good. <laughs> like, come on. Come on, y'all. It's a duality so, in all this you, shit, it, Don't quit mystifying the mundane. It's all right. Come, let's come together. Put our thinking caps on. Let's deal with our dysfunction. You know what I'm saying? Let's get to function. Let's work. If we're going to work through trauma, let's do it from... These are the same uh, motherfuckers who want community and shit. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's gonna be and I was going to say that because it be blowing me how y'all say, y'all want <laughs> self-love. Y'all want... Y'all, you know, I, I love my peace and solitude and self-love, but y'all mm-hmm. preach unity. Exactly. Blacks, BLM, you know, all, you know, just all type of I'm things. Confused. Unity. Unity. I'm confused. And I'm not even that nigga to argue that unity is not needed. I'm with y'all on that. But are we actually taking the proper steps to be there? 
Are we really? No. Just, are, is that is your reality? Self love. Are you pre- are you in bag. your reality pushing that unity shit? Let's just be honest about half the people saying the unity. Are y'all pushing it with the month? Because half the month is be selfish. They just want people to confront to their ways. There you go. That's a good one. You're not really looking to be solution. Like we say, a solution based thinker. You're looking mm-hmm. to get your way. It's your way or no way. And okay, that's cool. That Yeah, you got to get the fuck out the way, though. It's cool. Because I see a lot of shit like in the way. Like mass loneliness. Like shit they don't even like. You know what I'm saying? It's like, what? Like, why does that? Like, I see it, but why is that even a fucking thing, guys? My thing it's is, it's this damn box. It's these houses. I'm looking it's not at them even now. That. I feel like it's <laughs> art. I'm going. I'm going to tie in. It's it's the Gen Z rebellion. It's the Generation Z rebellious ass. It's yeah, our rebellious ass good. motherfuckers too. Because I good. talking to motherfuckers, all I hear is y'all just rebellious as shit. Y'all don't want to listen to nobody, but y'all still want to have. You know, y'all still want to be a part of this shit. Oh yeah, they want to be a part of them, this shit. But you them the be same rebellious. motherfuckers who want to be validated too. I've tried to skip over that, but that be them, them be the same motherfuckers. You just have a horrible intent behind what you want validation and what you're doing and what you want. Because at the end of the day, you still, like you said, you still want motherfuckers to conform to your sense of thinking. And you know what I'm saying? They still want motherfuckers around to control. Like it's the same motherfuckers who still, at the end of the day, Want the world to define what the hell they got going? Ask them a question. I bet you they're not changing nothing about their reality. Are you pushing that? That's what I said. Are you really pushing that unity? Are you? Let's just be honest. Are you making what? Are you making your situation work? Let's ask that question first. Oh hell no! This ain't working. It will. Are you using? It's what you doing got? something. Nothing. None of this shit is progressive. That's mm-hmm. my issue, Ty. Okay. None of this shit is fucking progressive. Right. <laughs> like it's just staying still. Like I even just said, them be the same motherfuckers who still want validation. Still have this wall of self love. That's the wall. Self love. I'm loving myself. Trying to get you're not even. Love you're not even. You're still at the end of the day, whether you want to believe it or not. Love isn't a love is universal. It's unconditional. You trying to you being selfish by bringing it up just to you. You putting conditions on it. You putting conditions on it. You limiting it. You actually limiting it. Calling it self love. It's just love. Now that was a great effing point. I don't even want to cuss, but that was a great. (laughs) I'm sorry. (laughs) No, cuz that was a great effing. It's just love, and it comes from every angle. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna clip that one. You see what I'm saying? I'm gonna clip that one. In and out, child. You see what I'm saying? In and out. This is everything here is in and out. Spirituality Mm -hmm. is in and out. Everybody's trying to do the opposite. Not you trying to break. Not you trying to keep it in the crib. Why be going against nature? That's why. That'd be my thing. That'd be my thing. Like y'all literally. Why y'all y'all crazy? Y'all swear y'all going with God? Y'all go against nature like a motherfucker? Like (laughs) you talking about God? Like nature? You gonna go against the laws of nature? nature? You both like that's blasphemous. I've seen people even trying to touch on nature. They they say that's mystifying the mundane, or you know, a lot of left hand motherfuckers be on the nature ass. But at, at, at the on, it that's gives us mundane. a foundation. Nature, nature is gives us to me. It gives us a foundation. Though. That's a generalization. Mm-hmm. So we got we still need somewhere to start. Let's talk about it. We need somewhere to start. Still, you need the nature. You need to. St- the animalistic is what we have. That's why we even choose these religions and Bibles. The animalistic self makes They're scared you know to put I mean? in the work. Yeah. Like- They're scared to put in the work. Both sides scared to put in the work. Right hand scared of the shadow. Left hand scared of the light. I ain't I ain't shying away from neither, nigga. Give me the middle. I told you. Hey, hey, you me? The fuck the middle. I want to juggle all three, cuz. Can we juggle all three? <laughs> I mean, niggas, I, uh, I guess I don't know. Yeah, I mean, this. I feel like I'm ma- man, master of all nature. I'm done. There Dude, we, we go. There we go. Cause like, man, y'all look at this shit. Niggas always talking about what he is. Look around, then, nigga. Look outside. The hell. 
I think people just need to experience with the. They need to just try to experience with the physical more. Stop being scared of it. Move the body too, bro. The mundane ain't bad. Get out here, talk to people. You can learn from anything. Everybody can be the guru, yeah. Try how I go wrong. You can literally learn from fucking anything. You anything. can learn from a damn flower. Anything. <laughs> anything. You can learn from this. We constantly are intaking information. We constantly intaking information. Like, oh, this is beautiful. Like, come on, y'all. Look, the goal, man. And here go the challenge. Let go oh, yeah. of the self. Hit them. Ooh, even there it go. go. There it go. Shit. That's the challenge. Let go of the self, god damn it. And just Two have words. love. Just have love. Sitting no, in. you hit head on. No, cuz you hit the head on the like nail with that one. Like, you being self, like, you limiting love. You, you limiting love it. by putting self on it. Mm. Love is fucking love, yeah. Even I learned something from this conversation. That was good, cuz. That was good. Let this is in the making, y'all. Let's yeah. go. SDS. Tap in, man. Look, it's it's all about just becoming aware. We're not trying to make we're not trying to downplay anybody's situation, anybody's beliefs. It's literally here. We it's literally here to become aware. It's unfolding. Your, become aware. We all got the same shit going on. We all going through the same shit. And we, that's where the loneliness go on. People don't but be nah, thinking, nobody can is, relate to me. You ain't going no, through this. I come went through on now. this. I'm telling you, we tell we talking to each other about how to transmute this shit. We all got similar problems. They, they may not be the, exactly the same. That'd be my thing, bro. It'd be different scenarios, of course. You're gonna have a different journey. But you're yeah. sad. This happened to me. That happened to you. We're both sad. We we fall in the same look frequency at, where we at. at the end of the day. Just look at who where gives we a fuck what happened to you. We in all the, the same space. Come on, cuz. Come on, cuz. Let go, y'all. Tap in, Sit like, in comment, it. and sh- like, comment, and subscribe to the video. Look and follow Sir. SDS podcast on Instagram, man. Tap in with us. We doing. Uh, we gonna start getting on the daily posts. Getting. Oh to yeah, it. daily vibes, daily you know frequencies, single balls, flutes. You know, all the come in, welcome home. You see what I'm saying? That's all we on. That's all it is. That's all. It and is. you want? And I'm trying to show you, motherfuckers, that black man is doing it out of her. I know, that's playing. all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. Stop I, playing. Welcome done, home. Done Emphasis on, on welcome home, bro. Done. Quit shitting on that, y'all. We are niggas out <laughs> here doing it. Look, how you sitting right in that couch? That's how they go see when they, they walk in that couch. How you doing? That's going to be sitting right there. Yep. Tell their ass, welcome home. Yeah. <laughs> Tap in, like, comment, subscribe, gang. You know what I'm saying? Oh, go. Yeah.